All right, this right here is the uh, Walther P22. This one has the uh, adapter on the end to where you can uh, add a suppressor or a uh, flash hider or just basically anything you would want to be honest with you. Uh, the thread is one half by 28 and it also comes with another adapter to where you can remove this portion and install a basically a plug on the end of it and then all you have is just a, a, a barrel you have no thread sticking out the end of it or anything uh, you can also get extensions uh, 5 inch I think for like a 5 inch barrel extension uh, there's some uh, unique things about this gun uh, this right here is the magazine release it's ambidextrous either side. Uh, magazine holds uh, 10 rounds. Uh, there's been some uh, stippling on the hand grips. It's it's a nice fit. I got pretty good big hands, and you can see that without the grip in there, you know, there's my finger goes under, and there's a finger rest for the grip that you know kind of fills it out. And uh, I like the larger back strap. It comes with uh, extra back straps to uh, fit your hand. Uh, the safety is ambidextrous. Um, the hammer won't fall when you pull the trigger without the uh, clip in there. Um, this is your basically your, your takedown portion right here that you, you use to to get the gun in a you know in the right position and you pull that part down and uh, you can actually pull the gun take the slide off. I'm not going to do that right now. There's enough videos on the internet that shows uh, how to do that. Uh, there's a lot of lot of bad hype about this gun. Uh, I've shot a lot of rounds through here and had no problems uh, shooting Remingtons. Uh, I haven't tried any Federals yet, but I intend to try some. Uh, it's uh, some issues about it not uh, going back into battery. In which case, if you look right here, this is your magazine release, and a lot of people tend to hold a gun with their thumb in that position and in doing so you're blocking the gun from going back into battery uh, so you have to you have to basically run your thumb straight along and underneath there's a little ledge for you to mount your thumb and, and get used to, to holding the gun that way uh, some other people cite that the slide drags back here on the uh, hammer and it does uh, right there it's touching I'm over the, the hump um, and people have cited that this keeps the gun from going back into to battery and, and I cannot make this gun do that no matter how slowly I let it forward it still it just it just it comes over the hump I can't make it do that so I'm sure that those who have uh, have cited this as an issue were honest I mean but I just I, I can't make this gun do it I've got I've got uh, seven of these all together uh, they're on my website www.customshooter.com uh, and uh, they fit and function quite well uh, I haven't had any hang-ups I haven't had any misfires I haven't had any uh, any issues whatsoever with the gun uh, it's, it's, it's been a great gun uh, people talk about there being an issue with the the clips which uh, you know from the magazine is a staggered magazine by the way uh, empty magazine but it's designed so that when this comes all the way down to here which is kinda hard to do without pushing the plunger down but this right here can actually pop out that's part of the disassembly of the clip uh, so when you're loading it you know basically I just pull down on it you know, I don't pull it all the way down. You don't have to pull it all the way down. And just start loading the gun. Uh, and like I said, it does hold uh, 10 rounds. 11 if you put one in the chamber, which I always do. And if you'll notice, the last round is in. And it's not, I don't know if you can tell, but it's not pushed all the way down. And I don't really understand how someone can cause it to come out because all the times I've loaded these clips, you know, I can't, I can't seem to pull it down and 
cause it to pop out. It, 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 it I don't know. It just, it doesn't do it on me. And it, uh, you know, let's show you. I guess what I'm, I'm trying to say is I know there's been a lot of, of bad hype on the internet about these uh, guns, but uh, I don't, I don't see it. And, you know, there's, you can see right there that I've got a good purchase on the gun. Uh, I've never had it fail to lock back. Uh, of course, when I fire a gun, I'm, my, basically my trigger finger and my thumb are straight. And I just drop my trigger finger down into the housing to, to get ready to fire. Uh, but like I said, I mean, with the, with the safety, I mean, the, the magazine in, pull the trigger, hammer drops. Now, the thing about this gun, it, it is uh, striker fired. Uh, the firing pin protrudes when uh, the hammer hits it. And uh, this, this safety right here, is basically you can I don't know if you can see it but in the back back here there's kind of a cam action that uh, when it's rotated into fire position that flat cams down and allows the, the hammer to go fully forward and engage the firing pin when it's on on safe then that rounded portion cams up and does not allow the firing pin to actually touch the, the, the hammer to actually touch the firing pin so uh, it's a it's a pretty safe gun and it's, it's safe to dry fire it uh, though I wouldn't do it constantly on any gun, but it is safe to dry fire this gun uh, on safe. Uh, so, I mean, that's a really good uh, deal whenever you're practicing your trigger your trigger pull. In the top, you can see a slight cutout. That right there is a loaded chamber indicator. When you have a round in there, you can look down in there and you can see uh, brass. And you'll know that you have a round in your chamber. Uh, like I said, I, I love this gun. I, I bought several of them so uh, I could sell them on my site. And I liked it so much that I'm keeping one. Uh, Got to pay taxes on it, though. <laughs> Bummer. But anyway, uh, like I said, I, I really like the gun. Uh, the uh, From loaded position, you're firing single action. After, uh, after you say, you're carrying the gun with the hammer down uh, drop it into fire position and your your first pull is double action and I would say that that is probably good stout one about nine pounds maybe ten uh, and then it's a real crisp let off I don't see any travel or don't feel much travel you have a little bit of take up you see from that point I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's a, there's a little bit of take up in the trigger, and I actually like that because it gives me a chance to a last ditch while I'm getting ready to, to make my shot that I can feel that take up. And then when it comes to uh, firing, it's that last little bit, and it goes. And so, I mean, I like it. And it, it's, it's double action. It's hard. You're not going to accidentally pull the trigger in double action uh, on this gun. It's... Uh, it's like it's stout but 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 in a single action the successive shots afterwards uh it's a pretty good trigger pull uh feels good uh i've shot actually i've shot subsonics in here and, and didn't have an issue uh, uh, uh i even shot some cb shorts and i don't know because they're so short that i didn't load them in the the, the magazine actually uh, but it did eject the round uh, so I, I don't know if it would actually cycle exactly, but uh, I have shot them in here, and it does cycle that. I mean, it does eject the shell out of the, the chamber, so, you know, be that as it may. Anyway, like I said, I, I haven't had any issues with them. Uh, I've shot a lot of rounds out of this gun, and I like it, and I'm going to keep it. And uh, if you would like to have one, go visit www.customshooter.com. Thank you, and God bless.